71 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting on the blue corner. He stands 177 centimeters and weighed in at 71 kilograms. His record, 48 victories, opposite 24 defeats with 14 yes. wins via knockout. Fighting out of the Chechen Republic of the Russian Federation, Arby the Aggressor Emir. His opponent awaits and fights out of the red corner. He stands 180 centimeters. His official weight, 69 kilograms. His record, 47 victories. Opposite six defeats with 10 wins via knockout. Representing Uzbekistan, Bobby Tagiev. Greg, yeah, both these guys very, very aggressive. From your perspective as a fighter, when somebody's ultra aggressive in a fight, what should your strategy be? Um, just to do the same, aggression versus aggression. You gotta fight fire with fire. Yeah, fire with fire, yes. Well, certainly, Emmy have known for being aggressive in his MFC debut against Enrico Kale, was throwing all kinds of illegal elbows under kickboxing rules. We then saw him in a, in a bare knuckle Muay Thai rules contest which seemed to suit him very well. Yes. And so uh, I think he prefers when there's fewer rules. He prefers when the gloves are lighter. And like you mentioned, Artem Levin in the corner of RB Emiev. Certainly not a bad guy to have in your corner. No, maybe you have uh, special techniques now. <laughs> Referee really inspecting both guys here very carefully. Taking a good long look, you can see Emiev has uh, those knee, knee guards or uh, knee supports on. Getting right in his face right away. Emiev likes to play games in there. And he's very, very aggressive. They don't call him the aggressor for nothing. Certainly uh, Tagiev no pushover either. I think that if uh, Emiev wants to play that game, then Tagiev will have absolutely no problem with it. Here we go. Three rounds of three minutes in this one. At Mixed Fight Championship 26. Touch of small gloves and we're underway. Well, the last time these two fought in Thailand, it was almost like watching a, an MMA fight. It was so out of control. Certainly not the, the lack of rules. Oh, boy. These two are swinging hard here. Emiyev got caught with a shot when his head was down. see the look of intensity on the face of both gentlemen. They know what they're getting into right now. Kicks almost simultaneously landing. Inside low kick lands from Emiev. Big clash there and that now you're seeing it. The, the kickboxing rules in effect here being broken immediately. No extended clinching allowed. Cracking kick that time right underneath the rib cage. That time from Tagiev. That one tagged Emiev good. You can see though the very muscular chiseled midsection of RB Emiev. Yes, when you spot the southpaw, look out for the left leg. Because there's the most powerful leg. Tagiev in that southpaw stance, caught him with an inside low kick. You could almost hear like a thud when he kicked him because Emiev has, I don't know if he's just wearing tights or if those are some kind of knee supports. It's hard to tell under his shorts there. There's a solid kind of a thud when he gets a low kick. 
can see he's already tattooed on his right side under his armpit from that kick. And we're already inside one minute remaining here in round number one. A very tense round number one between these two. Catches the leg. Let's go with a right hand, but didn't get all of it. Nice counter shot there as Emiev came in. How much does the small gloves affect your strategy? Uh, a lot. Greg I a mean, lot. it changes the whole game, right? Yes, yes, yes. You see the guard is different. They keep the hands a little bit lower, you know, just to avoid they get punched. And you cannot uh, uh, close your guard, you know, right. because otherw otherwise it's, it's going to be fatal. And I think they're not taking as many risks either. No, no, they are really careful. You can't afford to take as many shots there. He blocked with his forearm that time instead of with the glove. End of round one. Oh, he's open. Oh, I think he busted him open there yes. right at the end of the round. Yes, yes. Some blood coming out of the uh, eyebrow, perhaps, of RV Emiev. Artem Levin going to take a little look at that cut and have a little chat with his hey, fighter. Hey, hey, hey. Go this side. Go this side with jabs. And kick him here, okay? Go this side with jabs, okay? This side, this side. This one. Let's go back and take a look at round one action. Who do you have winning that first round, Regan? Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, I, I think Bobir, Bobir won the fight in the red corner. I think he was, uh, he, he keep the center in the ring, you know. And uh, RB uh, uh, fight on the outside. I think the Southpaw fighter is, uh, is dominating the, the first round. Let's see if they make any adjustments here in round number two. Emiev, after getting his right eye Ooh. cut open, he gets popped immediately right in that same that's, that's spot. Now it's gushing blood, and you can see the aggression of RV Emiev. He is unrelenting here. In round number two, going right at him. The kicks are coming, the kicks are coming. Everything's coming. Emiev is coming. Oh, he got clipped, look, though, look, and look, now oh, he's thinking oh. about it. Now he's going to rethink his strategy now, is he got popped on the inside there by Tagiev. Emiev now complaining of an elbow. But it was Emiev who hit Tagiev with an illegal elbow the first time they fought. Now I think there's some blood coming from the nose the bridge of the nose of Tagia. I'm not sure if that's Emiev's blood or not. No, they both are open. Yeah, they're both yeah. cut now. Yeah, they're both cut. That's what you're going to get when these... With the small gloves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be a bloody fight. You play with fire, you're going to get burned. Oh, Emiev caught a good one. Oh. Missed. Well, he almost... Almost an elbow, right? Yeah, he put him in a guillotine choke as well. I told you, so when these guys fight, it's almost like you're watching an MMA contest. <laughs> Expect the unexpected here. Yes, fire with fire. Good low kick on the inside there, disrupting the balance slightly of Emiev as he pushes forward. And again, when he comes in, he's getting countered. I think he's a little bit overzealous here, a little bit too aggressive at times. And yeah. Tagiev is able to capitalize. I think if one of the punches connects, one of them goes down. Tagiev holding his ground. And again, once they get within striking distance, it's like an explosion of violence. Whoa, wait a minute now. Emiev was that close to just letting one rip when the referee was separating them. You can feel the tension in the air here, Regian. You can feel there's a different atmosphere in the arena for this fight. Everybody on the edge of their seat. Yes, I'm speechless. <laughs> now, what do you prefer? Do you prefer fighting with these little gloves or with the bigger standard uh, boxing gloves for kickboxers? Um, it, I think for me, it's, it depends on the opponent. You know, if I have an opponent who, who wants to bang with me, you know, we were like, like these two fighters, who has, who has really aggressive style. 
I, I prefer the 10 ounce gloves. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, they're both open, and I know after the fight, yeah. they have headed both of them. <laughs> and we have now, whoa, let loose a kick right at the end of round number two. Both guys busted open, both guys doing some serious damage to the other, and there is still one more round left to go. Oh, look at that cut of Emiev. It's, it's not on the eyebrow, it's, it's between the, the eye eyebrow. and the eyebrow. The, do the doctor is now inside the ring to check. Yeah, they're having a look at that cut. That's a nasty gash. It's wide open, too. Let's take another look at action here from round number Ooh. two. It's been a very violent, brutal affair inside the MFC cage so far. Rigan, we know that you're the king of the hill right now in 1FC. What's next for you? Do you have something lined up? Do you have something prepared for your future? Yeah, I think uh, in October I have to defend the belt. Uh, I think it will be a defense in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Oh, yes. that sounds nice. I don't know the opponent yet, but uh, I think they pronounce it soon. Look at Emiya. Pacing around the ring like a caged animal now. Ready to go, ready to go. Tagiev holding his ground. Ooh. Listen to the sound of that kick echoing off the walls here. And there he is! At the back again, of his head. Again from behind with the illegal shots. That's the same thing he did in their Muay Thai rules bout. Emiev just he has trouble controlling his emotions inside the ring. It's his only fault as a fighter, is he just can't control himself sometimes. I would hate to run into a guy like Arby Emiev on the street. Imagine what he'd do to you when there's no rules in effect. <laughs> Imagine walking down a, a, a street in Chechnya somewhere late at night and running into this guy. And then you have a problem. <laughs> yeah, might be your last problem. Tagiev, though, still holding his ground. Yes. Refuses to move backwards in this fight. To see the experience of Tagiev. He's waiting he's for... He's standing his drunk ground. Yep, he's waiting for Emiev to make a move. Yes. And then he's responding. Oh, that kick went upstairs. And the toes may have connected to the already bloodied face of Arby Emiev. Well, I think that it's going to be a sunglasses kind of a day. Oh, oh my! Look at this, a crushing shot. Combination from Emiev. But it's ruled a slip, and we're back to business. About half the time expired here in round number three. Emiev looking for big shots on the inside now. And again, these, they're almost going through the ropes. Referee saying he'd better listen. Well, it's kind of hard to listen when you're all over him like that. Oh, what a shot right in the throat that time. Emiev pushed him away and looking for an opening now. Really unloading now! Unloading on Tagiev! Referee has really got his hands full here, doesn't he? Oh, and look at this now. That did some serious damage. Yes, look at his face. Tagiev is all messed up now. Look at his face. He's bleeding from three or four different places at the same time. Emiev is also bleeding from his nose now. Yeah, now you see what kind of damage the small gloves does. Oh, Lord! Look at this, and another shot. That one to the side of the head in the temple area. 30 seconds remaining. Both these guys have really taken a beating. This is the kind of fight that shortens your career. Ooh, wow, what a shot. And again, they tumble through the ropes. Tagiev trying to get some breathing room, trying to get a few centimeters of safety, and Emiev refuses to let him have it. Emiev couldn't quite pull the trigger there. Closing seconds now of the cut of the contest. Over there in that familiar area of the ring. And that'll do it. This one comes to an end. Violence personified here in Mixed Fight Championship 26. And who do you think who, who had the decision? Oh, well, let me tell you what. I don't think that either guy can be a loser here. I mean, 
This oh, was no. this is one where the fans are the winners. This was total war, total war. I don't know how to score this one. <laughs> Me neither. I was I'm, just, I wasn't I even mean, keeping a very close score of who's winning. I was just enjoying this fight. Yeah, me too. But look at the faces. Take another look <laughs> here at the action. Uh, I think that uh, in the in the beginning of the fight, maybe in the first round, second round, I think that Tagiev was winning. Th but yeah, in this definitely. third round, though, Emiev really came alive. Yes, yes. Look at the shots that he gave him. Always something. All straight shots. Always something new, something exciting here in Mixed Fight Championship. Of course, Region Erso, great having you at, at uh, ringside here to do commentary. You've had your fair share of battles here inside that ring too. Yes, yes, I fought three times and uh, it was a great experience here at Mixed Fight Gala. Let's get the official announcement from Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your winner by split decision in the red corner, Bobby Tugev. Well, maybe I was right. I don't know. R.B. Emiev, he is furious about that decision. I, I think that maybe Tagiev could be given rounds one and two. But Emiev, whoa, wait a minute. Emiev's going after him here, having to be physically restrained by Sefer Gokete, the promoter of MFC. Emiev does not like that decision at all. Now, he finished the fight strong. I, I thought he finished round three very strong, but uh, he does not want the fight to end right now. The judges made their decision, and you just got to live with it. Yes, yes. 